What is going on you guys? I hope y'all are having another good day. Today is Sunday and just like I promised, if you watched yesterday's video on top three things a new diesel owner should do, you know that I'm dropping a video today, which is right now. We got a couple errands, actually we got one errand to run and uh, I'm gonna go to my usual spot and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna kick off everything done to my truck that I've done since day one, since I bought it back in December, 2016 all right so it's gonna be a cool video stick uh st <laughs> stick around stay tuned uh we're gonna go out i just finished clean detailing and cleaning the interior uh it looks immaculate in here it hasn't looked this clean probably since i first bought it uh because like when i first bought it i used to wash it and i used to clean the inside out all the time but you know life got life gets you and it kind of goes away so uh yeah we're gonna let me show you what i'm returning real quick though all right, you guys. So you guys know how how I am when it comes to car de car products, like when it comes to car detailing products and stuff. Uh, I'm not afraid to try new stuff, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this shit right here fucking sucks dick. Uh, if you ever see this bottle of tire shine in, in the store, don't fucking buy it. If this bitch costs $9.99. Look how fucking tall this thing is. $9.99. You get 14 ounces. You can get the Meguiar's one, 15 ounces for the same price. And I don't even use the Meguiar's one. Uh, so, yeah, I was trying this out just to, you know, I used, like, I used it on one tire, and the way it sprays is weak. It doesn't have gloss. I'm like, man, fuck this, this stuff. I'm taking it back. So we're going to run the Advance Auto. I'm going to get my money back, my $10 in change for this. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, god dang, dude. I cleaned out. All this stuff came out beautiful. I, got, I still got to run this wire for the, for the, for the mirror thing, the dash cam. But all of this, man, was gunked up, nasty. I'm talking, I got it all cleaned up, man. It looks beautiful in here, man. I'm ready to, like, take a road trip with it, you know what I'm saying? So, we about to hit the road. Uh, I haven't drove in a week, so I'm letting them warm up a little bit, even though you really don't need to let them warm up being a diesel truck. But uh, we got it looking pretty clean. That's the receipt right there I mean, I'm going to take back. I cleaned all the WeatherTech mats. I tell you guys, if you don't have WeatherTech mats, man, you got to get you some. Have the wife put it on the Father's Day list, your birthday list, or Christmas or something, because those mats are a lifesaver. I'm telling you, you take them out, you spray them, you you know, you spray them down with a little degreaser, and uh, you go from there. All right. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and roll out. I will get back to y'all in a second. All right, you guys, we're out here at my little spot, nice and quiet. So. We're gonna go ahead and kick this off right now. We're already out here on the outside, so I'm gonna start out here, work my way to the inside, all right? So first thing off the bat, I get, and it's not a, it's not a major question, but I do get it probably on a bi-weekly base, is what setup do I have? Suspension, wheels, all right? First thing off the bat, I have a five inch rough country lift on this truck. Uh, it uses the stock control arms, but it comes with drop brackets for the suspension um it, which what it does is it, it maintains a level it keeps your control suspend it keeps your suspension pretty much at a stock geometry so that way you're not wearing the shit out of your wheel your ball joints your wheel bearings your tires wear evenly uh i've had these tires for about what 25 ish thousand miles with about five thousand three to five thousand mile rotation intervals and these tires are wearing amazing uh i have no high spots no low spots it's not wearing on the outside on the inside it's pretty good as long as you take care of your tires run them at the proper psi rotate them uh when it needs it you'll be good um a lot of people ask me now this is a common question my coil setup what did i do for my coils all right so these are the coils that came with the rough country lift kit they came silver i have a video way 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 back showing how i painted them all i did was i got some uh wool some wool uh wool pad like steel wool pad i scuffed them up real good i hit them with the uh about three coats of vht engine enamel uh paint this is the paint color i chose because it looks amazing when it's clean it has like a super super like it, people think I powder coated it, honestly. I did not get these powder coated because if I was going to get them powder coated, 
the powder coat place out here is kind of weird and they wanted to charge me like 300 and something dollars don't know if that's a good deal i kind of feel like it's not which is why i didn't do it uh i painted the coils i painted the front steering stabilizer struts and the rear uh the rear struts in the back are gold. The struts up here are rough, they're all rough country shocks and 2.0s. Uh, I painted the front ones black because remember everything was silver. I painted them black and then I put the sticker on it. Looks really good. Um, somebody comment down below and tell me is it worth flipping the, the strut so that way the piston part of it is at the bottom? I see a lot of trucks with the Fox lift kits and they have them pointing downwards. Don't know if it makes a big difference, but if it does, let me know, please. So that's what I have for suspension. I'm rocking uh, 35 by 12 all terrains, amp terrain grippers. Uh, they're awesome tires, super quiet, super comfortable. They, it doesn't bounce, it doesn't make road noise. I love these. Uh, and they're, they're pretty good off road too. I mean, these are the tires I use when I go hunting off road. I only got stuck once, but in all honesty, even if you had mud tires on it, you, where I got stuck at, you probably would've still got stuck. So it, it is what it is. Uh, tires. These are Vision Rockers 412s. Uh, it's a 20 by 12 with a negative 51 offset. I like these because they are super affordable. I'm talking you can get a negative 51 offset wheel for under 900 bucks. This is like one of the few wheels on the market that you can get that. And they look good. All right. I love them. Uh, I was real close to getting rid of them at one point, but I ended up holding out with them. So that's what we got there uh, on the front steering stabilizer dual steering stabilizer struts which is a high recommendation if you're going to be lifting your truck anything more than i'd say three inches i got the rough country dual steering stabilizers they work good no problems uh here on the front whole setup okay so right here we have a aux beam i believe this is a 42 inch curved light bar uh it can change colors i have a video when i installed that i went ahead and plasti dipped this valence right here was supposed to be is normally chrome but i plastic dipped it black because it matches better with the front uh with the grill i have a video also with the grill i painted the grill i took it off painted the chrome white painted the inserts black and then i did the gold ram emblem it looks amazing uh, especially when it's washed up like right now uh i washed her and stuff last week off camera headlights so for headlights we have spec d tune in projector led lights all right uh i will be making a video explaining how how to run aftermarket headlights on a third gen Cummins because it is kind of different with the lighting system that these trucks have where uh, you, if you put LED bulbs in or even HIDs there's a high chance you're going to get flickering I do not get any flickering with these bulbs a lot of people ask me how do I do it I can I can make a video explaining it it's not really hard uh, but when I figured it out I was super happy now if you're looking inside of here I got switchback turn signal bulbs these are going to be, I believe these are aux beam uh, switchbacks. They're either aux beam or last fit. I honestly don't remember. I think they're last fit. No, no, actually, no, they're, they're aux beam. That's right. Aux beam sent these out to me. We got uh, the switchbacks, which work amazing. And then we have last fit LED low beam bulbs. I have the stock halogen high beams just because, let's be real, how often do we use high beams? I mean, I got the damn light bar now, so and it gets pretty dark in these back rows out here, too. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Up top. We have cab lights. These, now I get people asking me this too. These are just uh, some basic Amazon smoked LED cab lights. Uh, I installed them. This truck did not come with uh, cab lights from the factory. I went ahead and put them on just to kind of give it a nice tow truck slash. Gives, it gives it a really nice uh, appearance, man. I'm telling you guys. Wow. It looked good. It looks good. All right. I also went ahead and did a debadging. I took off the stock. 25 ramp 2500 badges here in the chrome cummins badge and i went ahead and ordered these cummins badges off of ebay uh, they came with the 3m adhesive so all i did was peel them off stick them on they don't fall off they don't they they're good they're doing really good uh i do have a windshield tint i have a 35 percent tint on the windshield as a brow uh, these trucks have a huge windshield so you guys know during the summer when you get in your truck man all that hot heat is inside of that truck and it sucks it takes a while for the truck to get cooled down and especially on the mega cab because the mega cab is huge on the inside so having that windshield tent made a huge difference in interior compartment temps and it really helped out tow mirrors tow mirror setup so we have here some fourth gen tow mirrors uh i'm gonna be real with y'all i just bought these off of amazon don't remember the brand name is i'm gonna be real with you they're like chinese 
toe mirrors, but they work good and they look good. Now, I did get them painted. I got them colored professionally painted at a paint shop, color matched to my truck because I didn't want to just plastic dip them or spray paint them with a can. I wanted it to look just like the paint here, and it does, man. I mean, I, I, you can wax it, you can polish it just like the rest of your paint, and it, it looks really good. It has turn signals on the side and underneath. It has the puddle lights. I have the puddle lights and the turn signals wired up, so whenever I turn on my headlights, those turn on as well. In my personal opinion, I rather have the tow signals, the lights, uh, the turn signal lights, and the puddle lights. I rather have them on all the time than just only when I'm turning or something like that or opening the doors. Uh, I did wire those up too. If you want a video of me explaining how I wire those, comment down below. I'd be more than happy to talk about that. So while we're out here on the outside, um, we for a lift pump fuel system. I have an Air Dog 165 4G. Uh, I got a screaming deal on this. I think I paid like five something for the whole kit, uh, brand new off of Rudy's Diesel. It was an open box lift pump, but everything was in it and it still had a warranty. But they knocked off like what, like 150, 200 bucks off of it. Uh, I'm running some Donaldson fuel filters with water separator filter. So I got a video of installing the Air Dog as well. Uh, you guys saw this yesterday if you watched yesterday's video in it now paint uh so for paint i'm really big into detail i'm really really big into keeping my automobiles looking as clean as possible so currently on this truck we have a sealant from chemical guys uh it's currently a, a combination of chemical guys jet seal on top of that i have a carnuba sealant in one i recently put on i did a clay bar uh put the sealant on and i mean this thing just it just beams and it's it's an eye catcher man and i love it Definitely. So let's come back here real quick to the tail. All right. So coming back here, we have some aftermarket tail lights. Uh, these are just some generic $120 aftermarket tail lights. Uh, these actually came with the truck when I purchased it. I had aftermarket tail lights I put on them, but one of them fell out when I was driving. So I had to put the stock. These I call them stock because they came with the truck, but I had to put these back on it because I needed a tail light, and I'm I'm trying to wait because I want to get some specially customized uh, tail lights for this girl but also with tail lights i have uh last fit reverse led bulbs it's pretty cool oh, damn look at that stance right there man holy crap that's what i'm talking about uh, we got that got a bmw seven inch drop hitch anytime i'm towing that's my go-to uh, i think it has a it's like a ten thousand pound gross weight uh so it's pretty good back here we're rocking a five inch flow pro straight pipe exhaust system with a uh, axle dump with the tip we got an 8 inch tip uh, I think it's like 18 inches long uh, it sounds amazing when you start her up when you get on her I'm talking it sounds good I'm gonna get I'm gonna make a video soon of some drive-by clips and just so you guys can hear what it, my truck sounds like because I know you guys haven't seen a lot of videos like that and I'm, I'm sorry about that so that's really what we have for here on the outside I'm gonna pop the hood and we're gonna talk about the engine bay okay all right, you guys, we're gonna start left to right and then just hit them all up, okay? First thing off the bat, two optimum, optimum red top batteries. I'm gonna be real with you. I honestly don't know if optimum batteries are that much better than let's say an interstate battery or, you know, a Walmart. I honestly can't tell the difference. Um, I've used Walmart batteries and they've worked amazing. I've gotten easily five years out of them. I've only had these for about two years, so I can't really be like, oh, red top optimums are so good, man, I'm telling you. I can't, I'm not gonna bullshit like that because I'm, in all honesty, batteries only do one thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like a, it's not like you're gonna get all of a sudden get a bunch of horsepower because you're running red top batteries. No, no, no. If anything, the only thing I really love about these batteries is the fact that you get the options of the top post terminals and you get the option for the side post. So with my side post terminals, I'm actually using those for my air dog, positive and negative, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I should get the tray, so I, or I need to get the thing so I can clamp it down. So we got two red top optimums. Going from there, we have one of the one of my nicest, one of the nicer installs. We have a Smedin Diesel S467.7 second gen swap uh, turbo setup. It does have a four inch downpipe. I wrapped it. Four inch downpipe. Uh, we have a one point. God damn it. Yes, we have a 1.0 AR uh, area to ratio. We have a 88 or damn, I can't even remember my own stats no more. I believe it's an 87. Yeah, we have an 87 millimeter turbine with a 80 with the a 67 millimeter compressor housing turbo, uh, full billet. So we have a billet wheel compressor, billet turbine uh, wheel as well. 
Uh, this turbo is awesome. You guys remember recently when I installed this, probably back in December, uh, we're rocking the SMB cold air uh, filter setup. Uh, this thing works great. We got the three-piece Smed and Diesel uh, uh, manifold. I did get the EGT Pro back in, you guys, but check it out. I said, fuck messing with that stupid Allen key right there. I just went ahead, well, my buddy did, uh, tapped in front of it. We tapped it out and it went in and it's perfect. And my EGTs read, we're sitting good. All right, next, check it out. You guys see those studs right there? We got studs there, studs there, studs all over the engine, all right? We got ARP 425 head stud bolts. Uh, this was probably one of the more recent installs we've done on the channel, uh, but the, the truck is officially studded and we're sitting pretty there. Going on, we have CCV delete. Inside the media filter is gutted. Currently at this time, I have the little breather filter on it. Usually I would have my catch can set up right there, but after I installed the turbo, I never went ahead and put it back on. I need to. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking, where's the catch can at? I have the catch can. I intend on putting it back on, okay? So after the, after the CCV delete, we come over here. We have a pusher, three and a half inch intake manifold set up. Uh, I did custom paint this. I, I painted both of these. I painted the compressor housing for the turbo and I painted the intake manifold the same color that VHT gold engine enamel. Uh, I'm telling you guys, if you want to paint something, metal parts, you want to paint it and it look, it look good and it's durable, use engine enamel paint because it's so good at not flexing, con, uh, you know, contracting with heat cycles and stuff. But once you paint it, it's, and that's it, I'm telling you. I also painted this uh, rocker plenum down here when I had it all off. Uh, next thing we have underneath the intake manifold, which you might not be able to see, but you, yeah, you can see it. We have a grid heater delete right here. That's the grid heater delete plate. I went ahead and deleted that. I have a video on this, grid heater delete, CCV delete, turbo install. Uh, I've, I, almost everything i talked about so far, minus the cab lights, I have a video on doing. Uh, but yeah, intake manifold, a nice, very nice and affordable upgrade. I think I paid like 125 bucks on eBay for this. Uh, I have no problems with it and it's awesome. So absolutely, you can see right here, I have my fitting for the glow shift gauges that we're gonna work, talk about in a second for my boost reading. We got that over there and I got a bunch of wires and stuff. I'm gonna work on cleaning up this engine bay. My, bo my boy just drove by. So in the front, we have a Mishi Motor, Mishi Motor, Mishi Moto uh, intake or uh, intercooler. It's uh, it comes with three and a half inch boost pipes. I at one point I did take off these boost pipes and put on uh, the OE, OEM ones, or I put on the stock size OEM pipes. But I actually like it better with the three and a half inch pipe. Uh, it just it pushes better when you get on it. On this side here too, we also have the three and a half inch uh, intercooler pipes that run up to the intake manifold. This was an awesome investment because you will see an immediate drop in your EGT temps. Like, I'm telling you guys, it's like it's nothing. So definitely an awesome, awesome upgrade. Uh, Mishimoto, Mishimoto Intercooler, definitely recommend it. I actually got a good deal on this too because I don't know what was going on, but somebody was selling one on eBay, a company. I don't think they knew what it was and how much it was worth, but they had the intercooler with the pipes on eBay for 500 bucks brand new. I really don't think they knew what they were doing, but I bought that I bought that sucker so fast <laughs> before they changed the prices or anything. And it's funny because after I bought it, I went back and looked it up because they had like four in stock and they, they upped the price up on it. So I was like, fuck yeah, <laughs> I got that shit just in time. So uh, I think that's it for the most part in the engine bay. Uh, you guys might shit, you guys might know something more than I know because you guys watch these videos and stuff. I might have missed something. If I did, I apologize though. One thing I forgot to mention for the outside, I did I did go ahead. So right now we have a tent on the back windshield, on the back windows. I'm be real with you, I don't know what tent is on there. Uh, it's, it definitely has a tent because when I took my truck to get tinted, the guy said someone tinted the back. I believe it's probably 15. It's not 5%. But it's probably 15 percent uh i had the guy at the tent shop match the front to the back and now it looks amazing it's super cool in there uh but it's not to where i can't see at night when i'm driving like the tent setup i have on this truck is so perfect because my back window is not tinted i left it's just a factory glass tent that comes from the dealership and if you look you can see through the back but with that also at the same time it keeps a lot of heat out and I can still see when I'm driving, which was a, a huge plus. There we go. I just I just missed something. All right, I just noticed it. So real quick, we have a 
for the third brake light, I went ahead and bought a little cheap uh, smoked LED light off of eBay or Amazon. I don't remember where. I think I paid like 35 bucks for it, just to give it a nice clean up look, a cleaner look. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely, definitely something nice. So let's go ahead and move to the inside. So on the inside right here, we got switches. These switches are for train horns. Uh, I actually do have train horns on this truck that are not hooked up right there. Um, they're bad. The trunks are blown. I need to get them fixed or actually I need to get new ones. Uh, some black ones and I need to get them, you know, put back in because I definitely, I miss having that thing. But we got some train horn switches. I wired all this up myself. This is the switch up, the switch light up for my aux beam uh, light bar in the front. Uh, we have WeatherTech mats, which I I freaking love these things so much because it makes cleaning the truck out so much easier. I don't have to sit there and vacuum for days and all that stuff. Here, right there, we have uh, airbags in the back uh, from when the truck was not lifted. Uh, it had the air suspension, so you could be able to, like, you know, r raise up the rear, drop it, and such. Trailer brake, uh, aftermarket trailer brake came with the truck when I bought it. Uh, actually, let me hop in here real quick. Well, all right, so we got some glow shift gauges, okay? I got uh, the glow shift aftermarket gauges, which was a clean install. Once again, I have a video explaining this on the channel and showing installation. Uh, I got the EGT gauge, boost gauge, fuel pressure gauge. After that, we have the HS Mini Max, Old Faithful, always doing what she has to do. We got a police radar scanner right there. I, I bought this back in like 2017. And I didn't install it until like December, but it's still in now. We got a dash mat, like the actual brand dash mat. I got all my patches on there from all my units and stuff, places I've been. Uh, right here, we got a dash cam from AutoVox. You can see right there, that's behind us, what it looks like. I got the camera back there. Uh, we have some last fit LED interior light bulbs. I need to get, I got the caps for these. I just haven't put them back on yet. Uh, I'm thinking about get, buying some smoked ones, but yeah. Uh, we got those. It's super bright. Makes it the interior lights up when you're sitting in here. Moving on, we got Pioneer uh, double den touchscreen. Get that one out the way. Uh, double den touchscreen. It's it, it does a job. A lot of people ask me how is it. I like it. Uh, it has Bluetooth, DVD function, CD, AM, FM. It's 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 good. Uh, it doesn't have HD radio. It doesn't have satellite radio. It doesn't have none of that shit. It's kind of old, but for me, what I use it for is good. We got the uh, CSP5 switch for the EFI live tuning. Uh, I'm currently on sitting on tune five just cause that's what I like to do. Uh, for the interior, other than that, the interior is pretty much it. Um, it's just your basic mega cab interior. I try to keep it clean, especially with my son be back there doing all sorts of crazy shit. Uh, but yeah, I got a little, this was here when I bought the truck, but it's a little mag light setup. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So yeah. All right, you guys, let me know what you think about this, okay? Uh, it was been a long time since I've done this video. Uh, some things did change from the last one I do, I've done, but I like it. I like it a lot, man. You know, running through my truck, talking about everything, and just, you know, going back and thinking about, like, man, Cameron, you did all this stuff, man. That's crazy, you know, within a year and a half, a yearish time frame. Uh, you can definitely do it. It does not happen overnight unless you got oodles of money just sitting in the bank chilling. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just take your time. And the biggest thing, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing I can say when it comes to making your own build is be original. Be original. Um, don't, you know, don't settle for what everybody else is doing. Just be yourself. Express yourself through your vehicle. And that's what I try to do with my truck. And, you know, people will always ask me, what do you think about this? What do you think about these wheels? What do you think about this lift? And I'm like, if that's what you want, man, do it. You know, I'm not going to tell you, oh, yeah, you need to get this. You need to get that. That's not what I'm, I'm going to say. I'm going to be like, is that if that's what you want, get it. If that's what you like, get it. You know what I'm saying? One thing I love, if you guys watch 6-7 Lime with his badass 4th uh, Gen, one thing I love about him, dude, is he's super... He's all about being just yourself, being eccentric, just being out there, man. And I'm, I'm on the same page with him. Granted, my truck's white, although I could wrap it if I wanted to. But, <laughs> but um, you know, all the cats on YouTube, man, Ram Beast Projects, Josh Pierre Panorama, all of them, dude, all those cats that I talk to and watch your videos, even Chad Myers, man, all of them, their trucks are original. Those Their trucks' identity belongs to them because that's where they came from. That's what they put into it. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't fake it, man. If you fake it, you can you can tell, you know what I'm saying? And 
I like it. I like the way my truck looks. It rides great. Uh, it looks amazing. You know, I've seen some badass trucks on Instagram. You guys are always sending me pictures of your rides and stuff. And I'm like, man, that looks good, man. Uh, you know, this is a nice. It's a nice whip. It's a nice ride. I like it a lot. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind, man. When you're making a build, when you're making a truck, just just be original. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. You don't have to front. You don't have to flog in front of somebody. Just just do what you want to do, and have fun doing it. Take your time. The the more time you take the better rewarding it's going to be i guarantee it okay so like always thank you guys so much for sticking out in this video i love you all i hope you guys had an awesome weekend i will be back tomorrow with another video not going to say what it is but i will be bringing back another video uh until then enjoy this video if you enjoyed it hit that like button subscribe to the channel comment down below tell me what you think and until next time y'all take it easy be safe and peace out We out.